win we have a huge bag of stuff I mean I won so many lots of items in this last auction win um, it's kind of crazy so we'll be going through that but um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that um, I do appreciate all the subscribe and the subscriptions and all of the really nice comments and um, uh, boost of confidence that you guys have given me. Um, it's been really nice and refreshing. Um, since I've gone full time doing this, uh, your encouragement has really helped. So please uh, subscribe and like my channel because that just keeps on encouraging me to keep on doing this. So I appreciate it. Um, so anyway, um, oh, and if you know anybody else that might like my stuff and my content, I would love the shares as well. Um, you know, uh, being a content creator is kind of fun. So anyway, um, but before I get to the auction win, I have to tell you this quick story. So I have a nephew here in Detroit that does construction and, um, he called me and said, um, Hey, Aunt Leslie, I am working at this lady's house in Gross Point and Gross Point is kind of like a nicer area over on the east side of Detroit. And, um, she, she's, or he goes, uh, she is going to donate a whole bunch of items. Uh, she's cleaning out closets while I'm here and he was doing like windows or something over at her house. <clears throat> and he said that, uh, all this stuff is vintage. And I was telling her that you have a vintage store online. And, uh, she said that if I want to take this stuff to you, instead of, you know, having her like put it all in the car or whatever, that um, I could take it to you instead. So would you be interested? And I said, well, yeah, of course, I'd be interested in anything that, she, you know, in whatever I don't want, I'm more than happy to donate. Um, so she, he brought over just bags and bags and bags. And most of it was handbags and belts and all of that, which I sell a ton of online and in my eBay store and in my Etsy and all that. So if you haven't checked my eBay store or Etsy or my website, please go check it out. Um, links are all in my, um, I guess my channel bio or whatever. If there's links or in the description, actually, I think I've got links too. Um, but also he said, I've got some, she, she's got some vintage jewelry too. So I'm going to, you know, I've got, I'll just put it all in my truck and I'll just stop by your house on my way home. I said, awesome, thank you. So he shows up at my house, what night was it? Night Last night, night before? And um, I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't believe it, just bags and bags and bags of stuff. In the, one of the bags, there is this box. This is the Saks Fifth Avenue box. And there was, I was dying. Okay, well, first of all, the first thing I pull out is this. This is a belt. I don't want to break anything. This is a chain belt. And, you know, chain belts are in right now. It's a V. And it's a really cool chain belt, beautiful chain belt. And um, that wraps around, of course, and then the V will go wherever you want it to go. And, um, and this end right here, I don't know where my camera thing is. I don't know if it'll go in there. Oh. Versace. There's the Medusa hat. This is a Versace belt. So yeah. Yeah. It's a Versace belt. So I kept going in this box. And the next thing that I pull out was this, which I just fell on the floor, was this bracelet also with the V and then it had the Medusa head and here so a little Medusa charm bracelet and then there was a Versace 
another Versace like bracelet. And, and then there was this ring, Versace ring. It says Versace right there. <clears throat> and then, oh, and then there is this ring, which I kind of love, honestly, it's kind of a cool ring. So I'm, I'm just gonna wear this one, it's a cool ass ring. I don't get to ring wear Versace that often, so. Uh, which is funny, because like I sell luxury stuff, but I never really like wear the jewelry. And then this, to me it's like a Wonder Woman bracelet, but uh, this multi-strand Versace bracelet. So, yeah. So I actually made him uh, ask her if she intended to put this box of Versace in with all this like giveaway stuff. I mean, there was some nice handbags. There were some like handbags worth a couple hundred dollars too. Um, but they had been, all been worn and all of that. But this, like some of this stuff looks brand new. Now a couple of the bracelets are, are some missing stones, but I mean, this bracelet, the ring are perfect. Um, the belt's perfect. This ring here, there's some missing stones. Um, this, this one here, is in really good shape um but this bracelet there's missing stones in here um and the belt is in perfect condition so but yeah i was i was dying so yeah so that was my um that was my exciting little thing i swear like um you know i couldn't i feel like the um the the, the gods, the universe has opened up to me and said, you are on the right path with doing this and going full time because I, you know, I've been really nervous. I mean, I, I, I went, I told you guys the other day in my um, video that, you know, this is a little nerve wracking and, and I'm a little nervous making this decision and doing all this. And I've had a lot of changes in my life lately that I haven't even you know, really talked about any of my videos. And um, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, I've had really good scores in terms of like finding some jewelry and finding some other items this week. And then this happens and um, yeah. So um, the Versace jewelry, I don't, I, that will probably go on my website. Um, maybe on eBay and Etsy and Poshmark too. Um, but if anybody here is interested in their Versace jewelry, please, please, please reach out to me. Um, I am really, uh, I would love to sell it and not sell it on a platform just because the fees on that will be huge. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna drink my soda. So um, anyway, so yeah. So let's go on into um, the uh, the auction win, because this was a big auction win. I got some really incredible deals on this auction win. Um, this auction did not advertise they had any jewelry at all, like no jewelry. And it's just a local auction. They usually do have jewelry in their auctions, but this one, they did not advertise any of the jewelry. Normally they do. Um, even I was saying that to the lady when I picked it up today. And she was like, wow, did you get it all? And I'm like, yeah, pretty close. I got almost all of it. And um, I couldn't even believe the deals that I got. It's insane. Um, so yeah, so let's go over the auction win that I got today. And I think I got some good stuff. So I'll show you that. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Makes me really happy. Maybe uh, I'll be able to get monetized and this can be like another income stream, stream to me. So that would make me super happy too. And that would just mean all the world to me with all the support that you guys have been giving me. So thank you. I have so much here. <laughs> so there's like this jewelry box and then all of this stuff. And so let's just, uh, I guess let's just get to it. Um, let's go through what's in this jewelry box first. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened. Let's move this camera up just a tad. Add. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Let's see what's in the jewelry box. So, um, I have this cute little brooch here, and 
This looks like a little, I think that's an iris. There's no marks on it. And this was just for the whole lot that was in the jewelry box. So it looks like an iris. Um, looks like it's just base metal. Cool little texture to the metal though. And uh, super pretty. So that's nice. And then, oh, that's nice. Oh, it looks, looks like we're missing a stone though. But, oh, a couple stones, darn it. Um, but that is no marks on that. But it's cute, but probably going into a, like a craft, craft lot. I'll set that off to the side. All right, so then we have this piece. Really cute. Um, little silver tone with some rhinestones. It's not too bad. And then we've got this. Looks like it's uh, kind of an enameled or painted on. Painted kind of enameled. I don't know. Cute. Eh, glue marks on the back. I'm never fond of that. But it is a one of those ones that you can use either as a pendant or a um, necklace. Oh, maybe it's ceramic. It's from the back of it. Maybe it is ceramic. Kind of cute. Oh, I like that. Mm. This is a little bow pin, not marked. Cute. Little plaid pin, not marked. Oh, this is nice with the pearls. Let's see. And no marks on this one either, but it is cute with the pearls. And then the little double, double ring. Pretty simple. Okay, this one's cute. Look at this little mouse. Gotta like the mouse. And, oh, this one is marked, and it looks like it says Avon. All right, so we got a little Avon mouse brooch. Very cute. And we've got a little trinket box or a little glass box here, so that's kind of nice, too. All right, what else do we have? So this is lot 337, and it's marked crystal and rhinestone. So let's see what we got in here. So I kind of went to town on this one, but I don't know that I spent more than like maybe five or six dollars on a lot. I mean, it was crazy. Um, looks like we got a pendant. I don't know if maybe one of these had a necklace that went with it. Ooh, got some tangled mess here, but that's a cute little pendant with the little AB beads in there. Pretty dirty though. Looks like I'm gonna have to clean that up. Cute though. Um, another, I don't know, pendant maybe? And then we've got, oh, is that a bracelet? What is this? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Maybe a pendant? Let's see, let's set this down for a second. Let's see if we can get this, oh, there we go. All right, so then we have, this is, oh, that's pretty. Nice little like cubic zirconia necklace. Any marks on that? Nope. And I can just tell from like the back of it, like the back is, doesn't look like it's the best of like normally something that's sterling is not going to have that like textured back at least not that not in my experience so but that is pretty and we have it's like a couple oh we got necklaces tangled but we have another one of those like cz kind of charms so and I don't know what this is so if anybody's got an idea let me know love to figure that one out um and what to 
just a single earring. A single earring here, which is, oh, it's a stick pin. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty. A pin like that. Kind of nice. Well, AB round brooch. And these are like little tack pin rhinestones. It's like a little angel pin or angel pendant. This is cool. I remember seeing this in the auction. I was like, that's that's what I was really trying to get. So that's nice. And then these earrings. Which are really nice. Not marked though. And that pin is not marked either. So all right, next item, lot 283. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so we have a poodle. Look how cute that is, little poodle. And this is, ooh, this is marked. Let's see what this says. This is a, this is a Monet. It looks a little different, but yeah, it looks like it's a Monet. And then we have this little guy this little puppy you know i've got to get the dog brooches right and then this is a sarah coventry dog brooch if you hear screaming in the background those are kids in the neighbor's yard <laughs> and then we got another dog brooch and ultra craft this is so that's fun. I like this one. And this is an Ultra Craft dog brooch. So too fun on that one. All right. So this is a bib necklace. This is a Monet bib necklace. And then I think this is Monet also. Let me just double check. Hmm. Yep. So this is another, I guess, like bib or heavy chain Monet. Very 80s look on those. Okay, that's coming up. Lot 53. What's in lot 53? Ooh, this looks nice. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, now I do. Yes, 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 yes. Now I do. This one's cool. This is a Betsy Johnson. Okay, so this is a Betsy Johnson snake necklace. So actually, let me just what this necklace looks like. This is the Betsy Johnson snake. That is so cool. So that's the Betsy Johnson snake necklace. So absolutely gorgeous. This next, after that one. That was a pretty intense one. All right, so this is lot 316. So these flapper girl kind of pins or brooches, these are really fun. Um, this one is, looks like it's almost brand new, like never been worn. Too fun. Too awesome. Love that one. And then we have, this is another style. This one looks like it's maybe a little more aged, um, or it's missing something. Not really sure. It almost feels like it might be missing a piece. Hmm. Possibly. I have to look into that one. All right. What's next? Okay. 
So this one's pretty. This is like a porcelain that's been painted and turned into a brooch. Really pretty. And then this one is um, roses. Uh, some kind of maybe ceramic porcelain rose. No marks on this. But there is a pendant top to this, so it could be a pendant also. And then we have... This one is a little tiny floral one. And then this one is like made out of pot metal. It's super cool. We got a little basket, woven basket made into a brooch. This one's really unique. It's like an angel, a moon, a fleur de lis. Let's see, there's a name on this one. Hmm. No name on this one. Surprising. It's just really unique. There's a little needlepoint one. And here's another one. This one is hand painted and there's a name on it. It's, um, let me see. The name says Jackie, actually. Hmm. Ooh, this is a micro mosaic. I didn't even know that that was in there. Micro mosaic. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, next lot is, we got a, a little loose one here, but it's lot 311. And in this one, looks like we have, uh, the first piece is this really pretty pearl brooch. It does not look like there is any marks on this one, but, oh, that is pretty a little little um it almost looks like these pearls are a little bit more pink than those is that just my eyes it's very subtle but i think that is true these these pearls are pinker than these so i think that's a really kind of a cool look to it um and then there's no there uh yeah there's no marks or anything like that on these so very pretty, very, very pretty brooch. I like that a lot. Really unique. Okay, next one. Uh, this is pretty sandstone. Um, any marks on this one? Nope, but that's pretty with the sandstone. Like that. And that's unique. Is that a crack? No, that's just in the stone. That's very unique. And kind of a cool little back to it, like textured back, kind of nice. And AB crystals in that, very pretty. And then oh, a nice little purple rhinestone piece. Um, this is nice. Ooh, this is very vintage. Um, that's kind of nice, and I like, uh, I like how the back is constructed, and let's see here, let's open this up, um, no pin stop, but the back is constructed very nicely, hmm, very, very, very unique, um, this is reminding me of some kind of maker and I'm trying to think and maybe you guys can help me out but with these square set um, stones with the 
round ones and I don't know what I'm thinking of. So maybe somebody can help me out here. Um, but that's really pretty. Okay. All right. And then this is pretty with the opalescent stone here. Ooh, I love that little opalescent cabochon. And this is just a really small little like pin. Very, very pretty. I love that. Very unique. Okay, and then we have this piece. This is really unique. And no markings on this one either. Very odd, huh? Very pretty. I like how that's open like that. Hmm, interesting, I like that. Okay, next one. Do, 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 it'll open. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is, looks like this has some wear where it's rubbed off a little bit, but actually it looks kind of cool like that. And maybe um, no marks on the back, but I could actually get kind of creative with this if I wanted to and maybe paint something myself on there. Um, that could be kind of fun. That could be a little project. Hmm. The pin's up on top here and the flowers are there. Could even be kind of fun to do like a face with the flowers. Hmm. That could be kind of fun. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I do with that one. Um, and then same here. It looks like this has had some wear and the, the flowers are rubbing off. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I don't know. I mean, I, what's your opinion? Do you think it's supposed to look like that? I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but maybe. Um, no marks on that. Or should I leave it as is? I mean, do you, I mean, what, what's your opinion? Please, please, please give it, give me opinions in the comments. What do you think I should do? Should I leave it like this and just try to sell it as is? Or should I do something kind of creative with these? Let me know. I don't know if anybody's seen, um, I had painted some leather bags. Um, I think they've all sold. I should do it again, but I've painted leather bags. I've also painted pendants and stuff like that and sold those. I, I don't have any listed right now, but I should put them up at some point. Um, this is cool. This is resin. It's not some molded cameo. It's not a, you know, anything you know, carved or anything. It is got a little damage, but boy, is that cool. I really like that. Really, really like that. Even with that little, little notch cut out of it or knocked out of it. It's so cool. And it is spring, so, you know, and here we got a little cloisonne. Um, I wonder if somebody's trying to sell it for $25. I don't know. A little cloisonne pendant. That's super pretty. And then this is a little enamel pendant. That's actually very nice quality. Really nice quality. Hmm. Oh, that's a fun little one. I'll keep that one. Uh, we'll do the little bags last. I think there's some goodies in the bags. Okay. This looks like it's rose quartz. Um, came from Kohl's. Little, probably a little rose quartz. Little um, studs. I'm assuming it's rose quartz. Let's do a quick presidium test. I've got it behind me. I should have it in here, but I don't. I'm so so sorry. Yeah, it's rose quartz. Okay, let's see what we got. Definitely rose quartz. It comes up as quartz on the presidium, so it is rose quartz. So little rose quartz stud earrings. This is super pretty. Wow, that's a really long necklace. It did not look that long in the 
lot when I was bidding on it, but it is super long and I love, love the flower. I was really sad. I had a rose quartz necklace and I sold it and I loved it. I, I wore it for like three years before I sold it. And yes, this does have rose quartz also. Um, I sold the rose quartz necklace um, that I was wearing for a few years. Um, it was a koi fish. It was super cool. Um, but yeah, this one's super cool. Um, so it is a rose quartz, very long flower necklace. Love, love, love that. So super fun. Um, oh, that's, that looks like a cool one. Let's do something else first. Ooh, this could be fun. This look, I see a cat, I think. It's either a cat or another dog in here. Let's see. I don't know why. I've been into like finding like animal brooches and I don't know why. Oh, 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 come on, you guys. Look at this. It is a dog and a, like a lamppost. And I think that's a bird. So stinking adorable. Holy cow. I'm dying on this one. Does it say something? Hold on. It says something on the street post. It says, it says Bart. I don't know if that means anything. Does that mean anything? Don't mind Scout. He's just like, he can't get comfortable. I have, you know, Scout, I've seen him in some of the videos, I think, and he's on a lot of my thumbnails. He's 14. He's got such bad arthritis, but I love that dog so much. And he's just, yeah. Anyway, you hear him and he's walking around with his little toenails. Anyway. Uh, Bart. What does Bart mean? Bart. Oh my god, look at this. It is a pendant. Is that a cat or a dog? I think that's a dog. Oh my gosh, I have a friend that I think is going to love this. She's actually like somebody who buys from me a lot too. And oh my god, she's going to die. I think she's going to die over this. So, but if you like it, let me know. It might still be available if she doesn't grab it first, but... Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Look at the little blue eyes. I'm dying over here. Oh, silly. Look at this. Is that like a Lhasa Apso? I think that's a Lhasa Apso. With the little ruby eyes. Stop. That is a great little brooch. Great little brooch. Stop. I'm dying. I'm dying, you guys. I'm dying. And here's another one. Oh my gosh, it's it's a bulldog. It's a bulldog. That's a bulldog. That is definitely a bulldog. Too cute. That's just like a little lapel pin. I need a pitbull one. Oh my god, that's another little like poodle, I guess. Try to get to like focus. There you go. It's a poodle. It's tiny, but it's such a cute little poodle. And then that's a big poodle. <gasps> I'm dying. Oh my God. Look at that poodle. Stop. And this is marked. This is marked. SFJ? SFJ. I think it says F SFJ. Oh my God, seriously, I can't even, I can't even stand it. I mean, I knew I got some animal brooches because, you know, I've been on this like kick, like I said, this kick for animal brooches, but I, I didn't even realize, did not even realize how cute they'd be. These are going to be nice. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, that can be a pendant, or it can be a pin, brooch pin. Look at that little opal center stone, and the stones around it, the rhinestones around it. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Let's see, I don't think it's marked, but let's just double check, because it might be. It is gorgeous. No marks. Mm -hmm. Darn it. 
that is just stunning 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 um and then this is a similar one look, look at that's like the same one but in blue oh it's missing a stone but you know what i just got a bunch of stones so maybe i can match it and fix it i'm hoping oh it's missing one there too dang it well maybe i might be able to fix it stay tuned if anybody likes it let me know because um maybe i'll have it fixed by the time you message me and then, oh, we got a tiny little angel. Tiny little angel for angel. That's my little pit bull. The little one that you see in my videos. Oh, and this is a Jane brooch. Dated 1997. True vintage. 26 years old. Can you believe it? 26 years old. Oh. My oldest son is going to be 27 on May 6th. So, mm, crazy. This is pretty. This is another night. This is another Jane. Did in 1998. So, this is pretty. And looks like we're missing a stone there as well. So, but that's an easy fix right there. Super pretty. I like those. Okay. What is in here? I like these little filigree type brooches. I think they're really different and unique. I love filigree. Filigree work is very unique and I think it's like harder to do or manage than other types of, um, I don't know, metal work. Okay, what do we have here? This is a heart um, pin, and this is it's kind of dirty, rusty. Um, no marks on this, but it is very pretty. Um, nice filigree. And I have to clean that up, but it's pretty like that. And then we have this. Oh, this one has a mark on it. So, super pretty on that one, all metal. But it is marked, and it is marked Ferric. F-R-E-I-R-I-C-H. So, And then we have this. Oh, look at how pretty that is with the painted like red flowers. That's a very unique and different. And that can be a pendant as well. Very unique. I love that. Oh, we have a broken piece. Oh, no, maybe it's not broken. Oh, it's just missing a cabochon. Huh. <laughs> but what could we put there? Could probably put something there. I have these glass pieces. Hmm. I wonder if it would fit. All right, well, we'll see. I do um, this artwork, and if the glass piece fits the here, I could put one of my little pieces of art there. That would be kind of fun. Oh, well, here's the glass piece that goes there. We'll see, well, that can fit there too. All right, we'll see. Okay, and then we have this. This is pretty also. Very nice filigree work. I like that. Are you missing a stone? Nope, no stones missing. That's nice. And no signature, but that's okay. That's very pretty, very pretty brooch also. And then this is just a random piece of something that's just in there with no nothing. But it's craft, could be interesting. All right, let's see what's in these little, don't mind my random pieces of jewelry sitting here. Um, okay, let's see what's in the little blue bags. These are kind of nice little bags. I wonder if I can take these off. The 
empty, so. Ooh, no. If I can mix, get those off, I can reuse them. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's in this? Ooh, earrings. Okay, so these are really pretty little earrings. And no marks on this. Nice and vintage screw back little earrings. I like these a lot. And no, no damage on these. No missing stones or anything. So I like those. And let's see what's in this one. Oh, more earrings. I love earrings. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I don't even remember these. Oh, look at these. Oh, those are pretty. You know, I'm not crazy about the fact that some of these stones turned. So uh, stones will turn a lot of times. So I had a, okay, so I had a video and I, I don't know if I explained it well enough in my video about when I said about cleaning um, cleaning your rhinestone jewelry. When you clean your rhinestone jewelry, you do have to be careful. Um, if they're glued, if the stones are glued in, you don't necessarily want to use a lot of water with the stones because when they're glued, like entirely glued in, sometimes they can turn. Um, and these are really glued in, like there's really no prongs in here. Um, and so I'm wondering if that's why, like they got satin water or something. It's not always the case. Sometimes it's due to like a sunlight exposure. It's, it's, uh, it's basically, they turn due to glue. Um, it's always the stones that are glued in that will turn. Um, other stones don't. Some people say that it's the foiled stones. It's, it's really, it's not. Um, it's the glued stones. It's the glue that turns. It's not the foil that turns. It's the glue that turns. And old glue will cause stones to turn. And yeah, it's... That part's the bummer, but you know, I mean, it's not really that bad. And yeah, now that's when they turn yellow like this. When they, when a stone turns dead, dead like gray, you know, that's usually a sign that it's just not a very good, high quality stone. Um, you know, I don't, I, I can't really explain that. I I don't know that they're always like the foil back. I've had ones that are not foil back that that go gray. So some people say that it's the foil back stones that go gray, but I don't think it is because I have a necklace that's sitting in front of me. They're not foil back stones and those half of those stones are gray. So yeah. Anyway, I could go on. I was just watching a YouTube video and the person was saying that it's only foil back stones that go gray, but it's not, that's not necessarily true. Um, I mean, she's got a point. There's a lot that do, but there's a lot that don't too. And I don't really know the reason. I can't give you a good reason. I've worked in jewelry and rhinestones and all of that for a long time. And I was a glass worker for a long time. And it's not necessarily, I think it's just the quality of the glass, to be honest. You won't find dead stones in high quality pieces. I can tell you that right now. These are Kenneth J. Lane. These are... KJL, you can see that right there. KJL, right there. And they are so pretty. Half hoops, KJL, half hoops. So, yes. So that was the haul from the um, the estate sale. So I'm super, ex or not the, um, from the high bid. It was a high bid auction. It was a local auction. Super excited. Um, I got all of that stuff for like, I think I spent all total like $140 on all of it. So I think I did pretty good. I got a lot of pieces for $140. So um, I think I did good. Let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to hit that follow button and let me know. Um, so this is the whole big pile of jewelry that I got right here. All of this right here. This is all, oh, not that. 
So I got all of this right here for 140. All of, whoop, all of this for 140. So let me know. Did I do good? What do you think? I think I did pretty good. I think I'll get my money back out of it and then some. Um, let me know what you think. I really appreciate you guys sticking around watching uh, this unboxing. Let me know. Uh, um, I, 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 let me know which one you think I'll do the best on. Let's see what the kind of challenge, uh, let's see what, challenge me on that one, okay? And uh, don't forget to hit that follow button. Thanks, guys. Bye.